Hey everyone, it's Ryan here from Gilbert Fireplaces and Barbecues. Just enjoying a beautiful spring day here in Gilbert, Arizona. We thought, you know, let's, uh, let's throw some food on the Yoder Smokers YS640 pellet grill. So we decided to go with an American classic, the cheeseburger. Now we're gonna be cooking cheeseburgers today with, uh, with some bacon, with some American cheese, some caramelized onions, tomato, all the fixings that you're gonna want on a cheeseburger. Um, so let's get started. One of the greatest benefits with going with the YS640 Yoder pellet smoker is that they have a two-piece heat diffuser that allows you to take a trap door off of the, uh, the diffuser and expose the firebox. When you do that, you could set up direct grill grates over that fire pot and get really instant uh, intense flame to come up if you want to sear steaks, do burgers like we're doing today. Um, so it's really a nice feature on the grill. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to throw our skillet on right over that direct flame there, heat that up, and get ready to cook some bacon. I got the, uh, the unit set out about 425 degrees right now while we're doing that. When I throw the burgers on, I'm actually going to crank that temperature up even a little bit more. I like to get a nice little char on the burger, have a nice medium rare on the inside. So, um, so yeah, so we're going to start with the bacon here now and, uh, and then we're going to move on to our onions. Yeah, you hear that awesome sizzle on there already? Already get some of that good smell coming up through. It's nice thick cut bacon here too, so you're going to get a real nice, real nice bite. We have the bacon on the grill right now. Let's move into some of the other prep. I'm gonna cut up the onion here. I'm gonna do about quarter inch thick slices on it. That way we put it in the bacon fat and get some nice caramelization. It's gonna add some nice sweetness to this burger. We've had the bacon on for about six minutes now. Time to give it a flip. Uh, there's really only one way to eat bacon and that's crispy. So here we go. I'm using these precision tongs here. Um, it's kind of nice when you're using, uh, when you're cooking bacon or uh, scallops or shrimp. Oh, and the smell is phenomenal. Nothing better than the smell of bacon in a skillet. All right, this bacon's done. Let's get it off. It smells amazing. So we're going to take the, the bacon, just put it in a lined uh, sheet there with paper towels over it. All right, so the bacon's done, and it's left us a lot of grease to uh, caramelize our onions in now. So we're just going to transfer these onions over to the skillet, let those caramelize for another 15, 20 minutes or so, and then we'll be ready to throw the burgers on the grill. All right, so now that we got our onions caramelizing on the grill right now, we're gonna move on to our uh, beef patties. Uh, we have an 80-20 blend here that I'm gonna season with some uh, John Henry's Mojave garlic seasoning. This stuff offers a really nice kind of salty, garlicky, uh, peppery seasoning. It's gonna be great on these hamburgers. So I'm gonna season these up, form our patties, and uh, we'll move them on to the grill. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just add about a tablespoon of olive oil um, into the, the chuck just to help that uh, seasoning kind of bind to the, uh, to the meat a little bit better. So that's really about all you'll need right there. So I'm just gonna kind of move that oil around here, kind of cover the, uh, the meat in that oil a little bit, give it a nice coating. Wanna taste it with every bite. And then now we're gonna grab our seasoning here, start applying that. So you wanna get enough meat to kind of form about a baseball size. All right, so we've had our onions on for about 15 minutes at this point here. We're getting close to, uh, to pulling them off the heat and just kind of sliding them over to get uh, the, the room ready for our burgers here. Um, so if you could come take a look here, you can see that uh, you're gonna get a nice golden brown, some nice sweetness on these, uh, these onions. Really, some of those sugars are gonna to start to come out. Those onions are about done. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just slide the skillet over to the right side of the barbecue, expose our direct grilling surface, and put our burgers on. For this, I cranked the temperature up to the grill about 450 degrees. Uh, we're using a cherry pellet today. I really like the flavor that you get off the cherry for, uh, for beef specifically. Uh, so we should get a nice, uh, nice flavor on this overall. So we're probably gonna do about five minutes five to seven minutes each side on these. So we're gonna close our, uh, our hood now and let those kind of do their thing. Oh, it just smells so good. You get all that smoke kind of coming out here. You can see that the, uh, the direct grill grates there, letting that flame kind of come up through them. 
Um, really kind of limiting the flare ups. These are really fatty pieces of beef here and you're getting little, little flares here and there, but uh, overall really doing a nice job limiting those flare ups. Gosh, that smells good. So one of the nice things when you get the direct grill grates is it comes with this spatula. It makes it really easy to flip the burgers. You actually just slide it right down into the grooves of the direct grill grates. Comes up right underneath, you just pop it over. So very nice and easy to flip the, uh, the burgers here. So we've had our burgers on now for about 12 minutes and uh, it's time to put the cheese on them. We'll close the hood and let that cheese just kind of melt on these burgers here. All right, so we've had the cheese uh, melting on these burger patties here for about a minute or so. Let's take a look, it's probably time to take them off. I love the taste of American cheese on a beef hamburger here. You just get a great, great overall flavor from it. Tomato's just gonna add some juiciness to the burger. Just a little bit of that nice, you know, veggie flavor. Just really kind of pull it all together there. All right, so the buns are off. It's time to assemble this ultimate bacon cheeseburger. Here we go. All right, so you're gonna start with your bun. You're gonna grab your patty. Patty will go first. Now there's a lot of different trains of thought in how to put the rest of the uh, ingredients on. I like putting the uh, caramelized onions immediately on the patty. You can see we got some great caramelization on these onions here. It's really gonna be a, just a nice little sweet, a little bit of crunch to it as well. Um, it's gonna be a nice addition there. Um, from there, I'm gonna go with the bacon. Bacon's gonna just pull apart, but one slice, pull it in half. Then uh, I'm gonna go with the uh, tomato here. Tomato's gonna go on top and finally, Finish it off with some romaine lettuce and then top it. All right, now it's time for the best part, the payoff. This thing is thick, it looks juicy. Here we go. Mm. Right away you get some really nice smokiness from those cherry pellets. Just season perfectly with that um, Mojave garlic rub from John Henry. You got the sweetness from the onions in there. Real nice crunch that you're getting from the bacon. Mm. This is a good burger. Thanks for taking the time to let me take you through the uh, ultimate American uh, bacon cheeseburger here, cooked on the Yoder Smokers YS640 pellet grill. This burger was extremely juicy and flavorful. Uh, absolutely loved it. If you liked it too, be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and tricks when it comes to fireplaces and barbecues. This is Ryan with Gilbert Fireplaces and Barbecues. Happy grilling, everyone.